This is Steve Jelsey with Market Watch. Well, solar thermal technology is picking up steam in the United States. Here to, with us to talk about it is Santiago Siaje. He is the CEO of Abengoa Solar. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me here. So this technology has been around a lot longer than people realize, I guess. How long has it been around and, and what does it do? This is a technology that has been around for many decades and that is uh, absolutely proven and has a very long track record uh, in the U.S., in the Southwest specifically. A technology less known than PV, but which uh, for many utilities will be key going forward because it allows to harvest the sun, to produce electricity, clean electricity at a scale uh, in plants of a size that are meaningful for utilities versus PV, which is more suitable for distributed generation. Right, PV of course stands for photovoltaics, which are those blue solar panels that we've been seeing since the 70s. Um, now, Abengoa Solar, uh, we, we brought some, uh, some footage of, of some of the projects that you've done. The, the first one is called a Tower of Power, and it's based, uh, you have one, uh, a big one in Seville, Spain. Tell us about that technology. We have built uh, the first uh, solar power tower uh, worldwide uh, in the south of Spain. Basically, what we do there is we harvest the sun by using 600 huge mirrors, each of them 1,200 feet, square feet, uh, all of them pointing at the top of a tower, a very high tower, around more than 300 feet. And up there, what we have is a receiver that is able to convert the energy coming from the sun through the mirrors into steam that is used uh, in a turbine. And of course, uh, the solar thermal is cheaper to build than, than photovoltaics. And it you is. You have to use the, uh, the, the uh, silicon, which is in shortage right now. It is. Actually, the cost is significantly lower today. And uh, even more importantly, we are able to store the energy. In the case of the solar tower we are talking about, we are able to store up to one hour of energy so that we can release that power whenever it's needed. Okay, and now there's a big, bigger project now underway in Arizona. This will be the largest thermal solar project in the world, right? It's called the Solana, 280 megawatts. Different type of technology. Tell us about that. Absolutely. This is the second technology we work on, which is uh, normally called the parabolic trough technology that has been uh, used by other companies for the last 20 years and uh, in which we are building and operating already plants back in Europe and in Northern Africa. What we are going to do in Arizona is build the largest uh, plant, the largest solar plant using this parabolic trough technology. Uh, we have signed a contract with APS, the utility, one of the large utilities in Arizona, and will be starting construction next year if um, we uh, have an ITC extension. That's oh, it, it, yeah, that's the ITC, that's the tax credit. Absolutely, there's a tax credit today uh, in the U.S. that allows um, investments in solar energy to receive a certain help uh, from a tax point of view that expires at the end of this year. And um, these days, actually, there have been several movements in Senate and Congress sure. to extend uh, this uh, piece of regulation. But still, it didn't happen. Santiago Siaje from Abengoa Solar, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me here. This is Steve Jelsey with Market Watch in New York.